Hey cuties, it's your girl Tana Too Cute and we are back with another Sisters Recap, y'all. We are in episode two of season eight, y'all, titled Tea Time, y'all. So before we get into it, y'all, show your girl some support and like the video, hit subscribe, and look, let's get into it, okay? I feel good. Wait a minute. Who are I you? Okay, so the episode picked up with Hudson talking with the doctor. The doctor is giving him an update on his boy, Gary. I mean, he's acting like he's super concerned about his boy, Gary. Um, the doctor is sent, telling him that he's in a coma. We don't know the outcome of this um, coma or his, you know, health after this. And then Hudson goes on to throw Andy under the bus that, hey, she can't come up here and see him because she is the one who probably did this to Gary. Boy, you got it all wrong, okay? You trying to protect yourself but by throwing Andy under the bus, okay? Now, then we go on to Danny and uh, Tony. I don't know what's going on with Danny, but uh, it looked like she was kind of reverting back to her old ways, trying to suppress, you know, whatever she's going through or, you know, with this whole ordeal of the interrogation, you know, trying to suppress that through sexual activity. And Tony basically was saying, hey, I want to be here for you, you know, in other ways other than sex, okay? So, you know, it was a, a real genuine moment, I believe. So, Danny, get yourself together. I think she did pull herself together, but we'll see how that turns out. But on the other side of that, y'all, uh, Tony and, and Rich, they, they kind of, like, annoy me a little bit. What about y'all? Then we get to Hayden and Tamara. You know how Tamara ran up on your boy uh, Hayden when he was trying to get out of Dodge, right? Because he know he is a suspect. I don't know why he wasn't interrogated, right? Because he, Tamara said that you were jealous of, you know, Gary because he got with your girl. But anyway, they went back and forth. You know, Hayden thought he had something on Tamara by that video, but she did share that, hey, there was an editing app, so he didn't really have anything. But at the end of the day, they both figured out that they needed each other in this. So my question to y'all is, why do y'all think they need each other with this whole Gary ordeal to cover for each other, uh, to give each other alibis? You know, what do y'all think, you know, of this situation? And did y'all notice how at the end of Tamara's and Hayden's conversation, he apologized for the things that he did say and he gave her a kiss. Tamara wiped that kiss off so hard as if she was just like disgusted, you know, with that kiss. Like, but any, but at the end of the day, hey, she in her mind, she's going to do whatever she got to do to keep her name off that suspect list. What do y'all think? Then we get to boring Sabrina and Rich. Y'all, it's just not, I'm not feeling Sabrina and Rich at the moment, but they, you know, he wants to be there for her, you know, uh, since she was interrogated and everything. And then, of course, her going through this fertility uh, journey. It just seemed like Rich, to me, y'all, is just trying too hard. It just doesn't feel authentic. Y'all let me know what you think, but that whole scene, I was not feeling it but I did agree with Sabrina when it came down to her defending her girl Andy because Rich of course is saying that none of them would be in this situation if it wasn't for Andy you know that may be true but it wasn't intentional so she was like hey look let's table this conversation for a later time way to go Sabrina on you know having your girl back so then we get down to Messy Pam and Karen. So Pam comes over to Karen's house. She brings her breakfast and a good old peppermint smoothie. But her intentions was to get the tea, baby. So what went down with Gary? What happened to Gary? Why is he in the hospital fighting for his life? And why was y'all called down to the FBI agent and interrogated? Did y'all do this to Gary, basically? The scene was cute. It was funny. Um... But that, that's what it was. It was cute. 
And the last couple of highlights that stood out to me in this particular episode, we had Fatima and Zach, you know, deciding to do their own investigation. They first had to rule themselves out of, you know, doing your boy in Gary. And then, of course, they made their investigation board. Uh, with all the suspects, you know, who had the m- most motive in taking your boy or trying to take your boy out. And then the last highlight of the episode for me was Andy and Robin. Y'all, when I tell you they were given the googly eyes, they were given the googly eyes. It's still something brewing between these two. If you agree with me, y'all let me know down in the comments, baby. I mean, all the right questions were being asked. You know, Robin was like, you know, what's going on? Why are you about to marry Gary? You know, what's going on with this? Why are you so hesitant in sharing this information? Um, Andy asking Robin, were you keeping tabs on me? Why didn't you tell me when you were leaving? I mean, y'all, all the right questions were being asked. And when I tell you they were making eye contact, they were making eye contact. So if you agree, y'all let me know down in the comments. Okay, so they were going back and forth. And I think I did a short asking y'all, do y'all believe, you know, something. No, I think I did something on my community tab. And asking, do y'all believe they going to have something, you know, some kind of situation ship. But anywho, y'all, the girls walked in. The sisters came in on Gary. I mean, not on Gary, on Robin and Andy. And they was like, what? is this y'all so i am intrigued i am interested in knowing what's to come with robin and andy and how jordan is going to play a factor in this role y'all let me know what you think down in the comments y'all like this video hit subscribe and look y'all have a good day on purpose bye